everyone. Trust that you're doing well. Uh, I just want to bring us a word of encouragement. And today, I want to encourage us to endure. Uh, if we've ever started a project in our lives, we know that the beginning is usually very exciting. We are thrilled to start something new. But as we proceed, you know, everyone, uh, all of us, whoever's listening to me would agree that you know, sometimes we, we become tired and sometimes we uh, might even find it, uh, you know, totally uh, disin disinteresting and we want to give up on it. So to go through or complete that project is what is important and people who are unable to do that, you know, they end up quitting and uh, things remain incomplete. And when we talk about our lives and we talk about um, you know, things that concern our daily living, we know that we require that ability to keep going on, especially during those rough patches. And that ability to keep going on when things are difficult is known as endurance. We've seen already in Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1 that the Lord Jesus has become an example of endurance for us. And when we fix our eyes on Him, we uh, are able to endure through this race that He has set for us. So the word endurance, which is used in um, Hebrews 12, 1, is from the Greek word hupomeno. And um, basically, once again, it uh, describes to us holding up under pressure or bearing under pressure. Uh, and this ability is that one special ability or quality which will help us complete what God has called us to do. So each one of us in uh, the area you know, where, where we are working or serving, uh, we can look to God and ask Him for the, the uh, way we can develop our endurance. Now, I uh, just want to remind us of uh, people who are into mountaineering. You know, uh, it's again a matter of great joy when someone climbs uh, the, the tallest peaks, may, maybe a Mount Everest. But um, if we read about the accounts of these mountaineers, uh, we'll realize that um, going up to a certain height is possible. You know, many hundreds do it. They can reach up to a certain level. But after that comes the difficulty there. You know, the, the weather and physical exhaustion, the, the atmosphere, the oxygen levels. There are so many factors that can bring down a person. So very few actually make it to the top of the peak. And similarly, in, in, our, in our lifetime, as we're going through uh, you know, some difficulties in the assignment that God has given us, God is really expecting us to have that endurance to make it through and reach the end. In fact, every single one of us that is God's expectation from us. And just like those mountaineers who develop what is needed for them to endure, you and I can also develop that strength. How can we have that strength? Firstly, consider Jesus. Fix our eyes on the example of the Lord Jesus. And yes, be given to the Word of God because we read in Scripture that it is the Word of God that builds us up. And also, pray in the Spirit when we pray in the Holy Spirit, we know that our inner man is strengthened. And so with that strength, we will be able to endure those difficult patches in life and be able to complete the assignment that God has for us. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that Lord, you um, have called each one of us overcomers. And God, I pray, Lord, I pray for that strength that we need to overcome, Lord, um, uh, Lord, challenging times in our lives, Father God. And I just pray for the work of the Spirit, Lord. I just pray for the deliverance of the Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.